गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू क्लास सेवन साइंस वंस अगेन आई होप यू ऑल आर परफेक्टली ऑल राइट एंड स्टे होम चिल्ड्रन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर इन क्लास सेवन साइंस दैट इज चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व रिप्रोडक्शन इन प्लांट्स ओके सो डू यू नो वॉट इज रिप्रोडक्शन चिल्ड्रन रिप्रोडक्शन इज अ बायोलॉजिकल प्रोसेस by which an organism produce another organism which are similar to itself okay so in plants we will discuss the reproduction children what is the importance of reproduction the question that is very important in exam so the reproduction have the great importance on the earth because it ensure the continuity of life on the earth if reproduction will not takes place then the species will be extinct okay and they will be no more so after that the life continuity will be end so that's why we are saying it's a it ensure the continuity of life on the earth okay so in class 7th reproduction we will discuss in plants okay so start about reproduction in plants see the production of new individual the production of new individuals from their parent is known as reproduction okay the parent will reproduce and the offspring are form this process that is reproduction okay as i told you it is the most important characteristics of living organism clear children about this so in plants we will discuss this chapter so basically it is of two types in plants number 1 asexual mode of reproduction and number 2 that is sexual mode of reproduction okay sexual mode of reproduction in class 6 children we have discussed about the parts of the plant like root stem and leaves these parts of the plant play a very important role in the reproduction in the production of the new plant and these parts are called vegetative parts of the plant okay clear these vegetative parts root stems leaves are vegetative parts and play important role in reproduction okay so as i told you the two types of reproduction takes place in plants number 1 asexual reproduction and number 2 that is sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction a single parent is required okay and the offspring the progeny that are formed after asexual reproduction that are clone okay that are identical to each other okay children second that is sexual mode of reproduction the two parents are required for sexual mode of reproduction and in plants this takes place is by seeds okay so with the help of the sexual mode of reproduction takes place in plants okay so first we'll discuss about asexual mode of reproduction okay see asexual mode of reproduction the production of new plants from a single parent without involvement of gametes okay 
see a single parent is required and gamete will not form in asexual mode of reproduction okay gamete formation not takes place and a single parent is required and this process is called asexual reproduction in this process no fusion of gametes involved because gametes are not formed so that's why the fusion will not takes place okay in asexual reproduction new plants are obtained from a single parent without formation of seed okay children so seeds also not form in the asexual mode of reproduction seeds help in sexual reproduction not in the asexual mode of reproduction okay now sexual reproduction that will discuss later not in this video but definition i'm telling you what is the definition uh, in sexual mode of reproduction the production of new plants from the existing parent by fusion of their gametes okay means first of all the gametes are formed the male and female both gametes are formed and after that they fuse together and form the zygote okay this is sexual reproduction okay children so in sexual reproduction the fusion of male and female gamete leads to formation of seed okay so we can say that the sexual reproduction takes place with the help of seeds so about sexual reproduction we'll discuss in the upcoming videos but today in this video we'll cover the asexual reproduction okay so asexual as i told you a single parent is required for asexual reproduction and from the parts of the plant okay it can be takes place and gametes are not form there the offspring or progeny that formed in sexual asexual reproduction are clones identical to each other okay so three methods in our syllabus of asexual reproduction number 1 fragmentation number 2 spore formation and number 3 that is vegetative propagation okay children first method of asexual that is fragmentation second spore formation third vegetative propagation okay so fragmentation do you know what is fragmentation first fragmentation is the method of asexual reproduction in which the organisms the plants body will breaks into the number of pieces and each piece have the capacity and capability to grow into the new individual okay and this we have seen in spirogyra that is the green patches the green plants that are found under the sea okay we have seen spirogyra the body is breaks into number of pieces and each piece have the capacity to grow into the new individual this is fragmentation okay clear about this i'm showing a picture also this is spirogyra parental cell and if these if this cell is breaks into the two fragments okay is breaks into two fragments so each piece this each piece have the capacity and capability to grow into the new individual okay so they grow into the new individual this is fragmentation in spirogyra okay 
clear about this any confusion see the definition once again children that is the breaking up of the body of a plant into two or more fragments where each fragments grow and matures to form a new plant is called fragmentation this process is so fast in spirogyra okay the spirogyra can multiply can divide rapidly by the process of fragmentation okay second second method of asexual reproduction that is spore formation children in spore formation the spores are developed on the parent body okay like two plants we are taking here that is ferns and mosses so these two plants have developed the spores these spores are called asexual reproductive bodies okay so under favorable condition when the spores are shed on the land due to the action of wind water and insects so if these spores are shed on the land then if they got the favorable condition then the spore germinates and develop into new individuals okay so from the spores the new plant can be grow these spores are called asexual reproductive unit okay children clear about spore spore formation i repeat once again spore formation is the method of asexual reproduction in which the spores are grow on the parent body basically a structure is there that is sporangium in sporangium the spores are grow and due to the action of wind water and insect <coughs> sorry these spores are shed into the soil and during favorable condition these spores germinate and grow into the new individual okay this is spore formation that we have seen in the ferns and mosses two example you can give of the spore formation that is ferns and mosses okay <clears throat> now third one that is vegetative propagation so children vegetative propagation that is a type of asexual reproduction in which new plants are produced from vegetative parts of the plant okay like from roots stems leaves and buds from these parts of the plant the new plant can grow new plant can form okay so this is the vegetative mode of reproduction clear about this children now vegetative reproduction we have in detail like natural methods of vegetative propagation and some artificial methods of vegetative propagation so the big talk we have of vegetative propagation you can see from eyes of the potato the new plant potato plant can grow and from the bulb of the onion the new plant can grow and from the rhizome of the ginger the new ginger plant can grow okay so many examples we have in vegetative propagation and this topic will discuss in the next video okay children so i hope you have learned properly what we have discussed today thanks for your kind cooperation stay fit stay happy and keep watching the video